It's essential to create awareness around the quantity of foods that you're consuming because the guessing game can often lead to overeating or undereating. How to use MyFitnessPal, part one, inserting your food. The first method I'm gonna show you is the barcode method. This includes any items that already have a barcode on it. We're gonna click the blue addition button. From here, click on food. Then you're going to choose whether this item is going into your breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I'm gonna be adding it to my lunch. From here, because it is the barcode method, we're going to click on the barcode. It's going to read the barcode. And again, that's the barcode method. The second way to insert food is say, for instance, your internet isn't working or you don't have Wi-Fi and you can't scan the barcode, it's just malfunctioning in the application, you can do it manually. So all you do is you find the name of the item by clicking on add food and we're gonna insert it right here. So I've got Primal Kitchen soy sauce. So from there, and you typically don't have to put in the entire name, it will likely pull it up. So I'm gonna scroll down and there it is. No soy teriyaki. I'm gonna adjust my serving sizes again, back to two, check mark and done. To save you some time, I'm gonna show you a nifty little trick and that's learning how to save and store your meals so that you can pre-plug ahead of time. So we're gonna go to a breakfast item that I already have logged for today. All I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click on the edit button. I'm gonna click on my meal that I had at breakfast. From here, I'm going to go to the middle part at the bottom that says copy. I'm gonna click on copy and I'm going to take this meal to wherever I want to go. So say for instance, I wanna have it for breakfast on Wednesday, then I'm going to click check. And if I scroll to Wednesday, there it is. Save yourself some time, copy and paste. Done. So many of you have questions about, well, how do I insert food when it's coming from a recipe online? Simple, follow along. Okay, so you're gonna to go to your search engine and you're gonna find the recipe. For instance, I've pulled up my 15 minute one pot enchilada skillet. From here, I'm just gonna copy that link. I'm gonna go back to the MyFitnessPal app. When I go to more here, recipes, I'm going to create a recipe. So from here, this is where we can add from the web or enter ingredients manually. So because I've got it from the web, I'm gonna click on that guy. I'm going to paste in the search engine, just like that. And then from here, click go. At this point, there she is. So I want to import the recipe. It's gonna take a few minutes. And voila, all of my ingredients are laid out. You can make any adjustments here if you've changed any ingredients, but for the most part, you're good to go to the next step Click that right arrow and it's gonna try to match all of your ingredients here. So far I can see I don't have to make any adjustments but make them here. You can swap ingredients out. So from here, go to that right arrow and serving sizes included, calories, fat, carbs, protein, save, boom. You can even track foods from chain restaurants. Yes, that's right. If you're dining out and you're going to a chain restaurant, that restaurant is likely going to be found in MyFitnessPal. They have a huge database. So I'm gonna show you and walk you through one of my favorite restaurants, Chick-fil-A. So we're going for lunch. I'm gonna add food. Type in Chick-fil-A. Make sure you spell that right. And I'm gonna have some minis. So from here, I'm gonna have four minis. Boom and boom, done. Eh, as you can see there, <laughs> they have a quite a high amount of sodium. So again, this is a great way of creating awareness around how much salt you're consuming, if that's what you need to monitor.